Yo, what's up with it y'all? It's JD, Travel Stenics, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing that if learning calisthenics skills translates into building a more impressive physique, than training with fundamental calisthenics movements. Now, what do I mean when I say calisthenic skills? I'm talking about movements like the muscle up, the handstand, the planche, the human flag, or the back lever, or things of that nature. Now, what am I talking about when I say fundamental or basic calisthenics movements? I'm talking about pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, horizontal rolls, or different variations of these movements. You can switch the angles up on these fundamental exercises to hit different parts of the body. So first and foremost, you need to know exactly what you're training for with calisthenics and set some concrete goals, just like anything else in life. Some of us want to gain lean muscle and get to 10% body fat. Some of us want to gain size while still being relatively lean. And others want to learn as many calisthenics skills as possible or get into freestyle calisthenics and be able to do all those cool tricks that you see on YouTube or IG. Now you don't have to limit yourself to one of these goals, but from my experience, you don't wanna spread yourself too thin when it comes down to training for too many goals at once. I'm personally somebody who likes to zero in on one or two goals at a time when it comes down to training and with life in general. Multitasking is typically not very realistic for most of us, so why incorporate that mentality into your training regimen? But so since we're on the subject of the goal being to build an impressive physique, I'd have to just get straight to the point. Skills are cool and all, and doing movements like the muscle up and handstand push-ups do help you build an impressive physique, but they're just a small piece of the puzzle. I could realistically have the same exact physique I have right now if I didn't do any calisthenic skills at all. Now, when you look at cats who do street workout, freestyle calisthenics, most of them are skinny and some aren't even really that shredded. That should let you know right off the bat that they're training for performance and not training for looks. Now there's nothing wrong with that at all, but if your goals are to get that summertime ready look or have that look that when you walk around shirtless, females have to take a little peek, you wanna stick to the basic calisthenics movements and you just wanna do different variations of a lot of the same exercise. Let's just take the push-up for instance. There are dozens of different ways that you can do push-ups, incline, decline, diamond, archer, and many more. They all work different parts of the chest and they can actually help you build a strong base and a strong overall physique. Same goes for pull-ups, dips, horizontals, all those exercises. There's hundreds of different calisthenics movements that work different parts of the body. So why limit yourself to focusing on just a few specific skills? Now, with that being said, I gotta throw in a shameless plug. I do have a 12-week calisthenics program available on my website. It's just $50 and it has over 100 different exercises on it, along with over 100 different video examples for all those exercises. So go ahead and grab a program today if you're just starting your calisthenics journey out but another thing that I wanted to mention is that mastering the basics will translate into being able to do a lot of these calisthenic skills easier one example for me is the back lever I never really focused on training the back lever until maybe like a month a month and a half ago and I already had so much strength in my front and back core from doing exercises like skin the cats that when I first tried to do a back lever, I could hold it for a second or two. So now that I've trained the back lever for maybe like a month, maybe a month and a half, I can hold it for about 10 seconds. And to be real, I've only practiced that movement maybe like five, seven times, not seven times, but five to seven days that I've actually worked on that movement specifically. And probably in all those days that I did work on the movement, I probably practiced for maybe 10 to 15 minutes per day. So you could say within me training the back lever for about 60 to 80 minutes that I've already gained enough experience with that, that I can hold the back lever for about 10 seconds now. Now the same thing goes for muscle ups. My homeboy G hit me one day and he was telling me that he wanted to learn how to muscle up. And I was telling him that he already had the strength to muscle up. So he actually already had the strength to do it. He just didn't have the technique. He'd been doing pull-ups and dips for a while and was proficient at them. So I knew that that strength would translate into him being able to do a muscle up. So I sent him a video that I found on YouTube that was explaining the technique of the muscle up. And he instantly hit his first muscle up that same day. But anyways, guys, to sum it all up, calisthenics fundamentals win every time when it comes down to building a solid physique. I'm not gonna say only doing pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, and lunges will build you a complete physique, but those and different variations of those exercises can definitely do the job. 
Calisthenic skills are like a cherry on top of a nice ice cream sundae. It's not essential, but they're definitely nice to floss and they also beautify your movements. If you guys want some help building your dream physique, hit my website up, that's travelstanks.com, and book a free consultation with me today. So we can map out a blueprint for you that can help you reach your overall fitness and health goals faster and more optimal. But anyways, guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe again. If you guys found this video to be informative or helpful in any way, go ahead and share this video with a friend that might feel the same way. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll holla at you guys later. Peace.